What's up guys? Tonight is uh, December 6th of 2013 and I've got an update for you guys regarding the Simplex 4004. Um, but before I get into that, I am going to mention the lighting of the video. Um, I purposely have the light on my ceiling fan turned off because um, we put up uh, the Christmas lights. So they, they, they usually don't go this far in my room, but what happened this year, my dad was putting them in the window, and he realized, by, uh, by, by mistake, he used a strand that was a bit too long, and um, so he had to run the rest over my bed head all the way down here. Um, and I kind of like it. It looks very good. Um, so I thought I would use these to light the video instead. And uh, if if I gotta like show you guys like detailed things, then I will use my phone's flashlight app. So um, anyway, um, to the update. As you guys can see, the 4004 is finally clear of troubles. Finally, <laughs> um, it's so good to see that trouble indicator off on this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside. This is where my phone will come in handy. There you, there you guys go. Clear of troubles. Um, I did get some, some batteries, but the batteries are, are not in here. Um, I got the wires going out of the battery terminals. Uh, they run out of the 4004 behind that, and there are the batteries. Um, I got these yesterday. Dad brought these home from from his work, so thank you to my dad. Um, these are twelve. These are two heavy duty twelve volt rechargeable batteries. Uh, they're they're made by um, by Genesis, um, and uh, so far these these have been some pretty good batteries. Um, I guess that means they're from two thousand six though, which uh, shocked me a bit. But um, the cool part is. Um, you know, these things have been sitting, and we got these home, hooked them up to a, like, voltage, uh, like, meter, and they were reading 25 volts DC. So, that's awesome. For, for, for these things being from 2006, that's awesome. And, uh, you know, these things are, like, working awesomely. Um, I got them tied together. Got them, uh, you know, tied there. And they're running back to the 4004. So let's go back over here. Um, and I think we're... To celebrate all of this, I think we're going to do a... Uh, a battery test. So what we're going to do here is... Uh, I got the batteries. Again, they're all like wired up, obviously. Um, for this test... Hold on. Let's go ahead and uh, do this one more time so you guys can see what I got. All the devices I got today are from the um, the recent replacement at, at my dad's building. Uh, got my Spectre Alert P. Uh, got like like one of my three Spectre Alert P twelve twenty four MCK horn strobes. Um, this got taken out from dad's building a few weeks ago. Um, got the Notifier MBG twelve L pulsation that's like missing the the lock now. I, I actually did something to this, like, pull station. You guys can see that the, uh, here, that the front is in a bit better condition than the back. And that's because, um, you know, the, this one, uh, these are actually two different pull stations combined. I've got the rest of the pull stations up here. Hold on, let me grab them. Um, from that replacement, I got, I got two terribly sun, sun bleached, um, and, NBU12L pull stations. These are it. And um, as 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 you guys can see, let me shine that light up. Um, no, that's not going to work too well. Let me do that. You guys can see that the back of uh, that one is in uh, the the same con condition as the front of this one. That's because this back, the back to this pull station, and this front. Are supposed to go to, together, but because, um, like, what happened here is, uh, 
on this one, on, on this back, that's what happened. So somehow the terminal screws got broken off and um, those do, just don't like work too well. But since um, the back that came with this one, the front, this front it, it is, is all good. Let me show you guys the back of this one. See, it's still got its screw terminals. Um, I decided to just pop off the front cover and swap them out. So, anyway, I'll be posting these on eBay in a while. Um, since, you know, they're, I, I actually don't have the key for, the, for, for this one yet. That one's still got its key locked, but, um, yeah, those will probably be posted to eBay pretty soon. I don't know what to, to, I don't like what else to do with them. I don't like want them. They're ugly. So, um, yeah. So anyway, back to the test. Um, again, there's no like key lock in this one and I don't have the notifier key at the, at the moment. So anyway, um, the panel's set to march time. Um, before we pull, let's go ahead and pull the power here. Acknowledge the power trouble, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be called to March time. And uh, so let's do this. Reset. Okay, let's go ahead and pop our power back on here. Okay, there we go. There goes the power trouble. So we are back in, uh, in service here. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, just so you guys know, I've like had this system on for I don't know like how long now. I've had it I had it on since last night, and uh, I like had it on all today without trouble. So um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, suppose that will be it.